What's going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and in today's Destiny video I'm going to try and explain the new levelling system that will come with the Taken King DLC. Now if you didn't know about it already, there will be a reset on the levelling system and how you rank up will be very very different indeed. In this video I hope to clear things up for some of you who may be confused as I was. Now me personally I am not 100% clear on the situation but do have a much better understanding of it after reading the Game Informer Taking King issue. Now I'll read and quote Game Informer's interview with Luke Smith then clear up what needs to be cleared up. Now I'm quoting Game Informer and Luke Smith right here. The developers I speak to at Bungie are focused on delivering fun and rewarding character progression for all players. They want to address the hopes and desires of a very active and focal fanbase, but also strive to make the game accessible for new players and draw back in players who originally disliked something about the game. One big stumbling block has been a hard to explain levelling system that begins after 20 which was notorious for unnecessary stalls and roadblocks. The Taken King resets the system in favour of a more unified passage from level 1 to the new level cap of 40. Experience points from missions, bounties and enemy kills now contribute directly to progression even after level 20. Character level should be deterministic and earnable by a player in the way they understand, Smith says. Simultaneously, gear continues to play an important factor in the developing power of your Guardian. The light system has been revised for a streamlined and consistent experience from level 1 to 40. As your character level is going up, it's letting you find and equip more powerful gear, Smith says. The conflation of gear and character level led to this place where your identity was determined by things outside of your control. We do not want that. We don't want only four slots that contribute to this number we want every piece of gear that you get to have the potential to be something that excites you or makes you more powerful weapons armors class items and even your gold shell all offer perk customization as well as increased power and light for your hero. Existing year one legendary weapons and armor are still equipable but expect to find gear with higher attack and defense values with which to replace it very early. Those items may even be white and green commons. Bungie wants year two to reinvigorate the collection and experimentation experience of the game and this can't happen if everybody is still using the vision of confluence. It's hard to look at Fatebringer and imagine not using it. It's one of my favorite guns in the game Smith admits but at the same time I definitely feel like some of our players are ready to play with some new toys we've built a whole bunch of new toys and there are definitely some weapons that you are going to find better versions of there's going to be something that replaces that sniper rifle you love as your guardian ascends through white green blue and eventually purple armor and weapons Bungie wants players to engage with the gear that appeals to them both visually and functionally. As an alternative to using or sharding your new high powered legendary weapons and armor, you can now improve an item you like by sacrificing another piece from the same gear slot. I saw a work in progress version of this system and while the details and name of the process are still being finalized, the intent was clear. It enables a player to customize the way they want to look and the weapons they want to use, Smith says. The mechanic extends to exotics as well, allowing players to power up exotic weapons and armor that might have a lower attack or defense value. Other changes to the character screen are less obvious. Intelligence, discipline and strength abilities now have numbered tiers to strive towards. Tiers are digital thresholds that you cross to reduce the cooldown of your core 3 powers. Smith explains, instead of a percentage, we want to tell you the time in seconds that your ability is going to come back in. It will be a lot of fun for people who like to tinker with their build. And that's basically all they talked about in the game informer issue of the Taken King regarding levels. Now, to me, after reading this, it's clear that light levels on armors will be revived. Now, I have a feeling light level won't have anything to do with your initial level. And what I mean by this is applying or removing items with light level won't lower or higher your actual level. This will take all of us guardians who have grinded and maxed out 
our armors to get to that level 34 back down to 20 and I believe the grind will start again but this time it won't depend on your armor I mean sure your defense values etc will depend on your armor you are wearing but you'll need to gain that XP to rank up after 20 just like getting from level 1 to level 20 when starting the game and collecting that XP. Luke Smith clearly states this and I quoted it earlier the light system is being revived for a streamlined and consistent experience from level 1 to 20 as your character level is going up it's letting you find and equip more powerful gear the conflation of gear and character level is led to this place where your identity i.e. the way you look was determined by things outside of your control we don't want that I mean, I could be completely wrong and misread all of this, but if I ain't, I think this is a great, great thing I really do. Systems where you level up by XP work way better in my opinion and are far less confusing for the newcomer to the game. Now I know a lot of people will be distraught over this information and will not like the fact that your levels will drop, but at the end of the day, if they were to not introduce a new leveling up system and introduce four more levels of what we already know of the leveling system we work with at the minute, giving us the possibility to reach that light level 38, then what? After you've reached that light level 38, after a week like we reached from 32 to 34, after a week, shit will be over before it's even started and you'll be bored again. At least with this new leveling system, we may actually have to grind and play and be rewarded and feel the reward just like when you first hit that level 28 or 30 back when Destiny first dropped, you really felt like you had achieved something. When House of Wolf dropped, everyone was at level 34 within a week and nobody cared. It didn't feel like anything. It didn't feel like you'd accomplished anything whatsoever. With this new leveling system, you will, I'm sure, feel accomplished when you reach that max level. I do believe that it's going to take you ages to level up. They ain't going to make it as simple as doing it in a week. I doubt very much. This also ties in with new exotics and how they come into the form of exotic quests, which require a lot of grinding. Once you have a weapon, you'll feel you earned it. Now exotics drop randomly to people who don't need or care to have them, while me and you have played twice as long as them, and we still can't get the fucker. I personally feel this change in the leveling system will be a great thing and when combined with all the other changes and new things that come with the Taken King DLC, this DLC will be what we have hoped for with the Dark Below and the House of Wolves. But guys I hope this cleared up a few things for you, if you have any questions leave them down below in that comment section. I mean it isn't factual that you will drop down to a level 20, you could drop down to a level 0, you could drop down to a level 10, you could stay at your current level but I do not see that happening whatsoever. They want us to grind the game again so I do think we're going to drop down at least 10 levels. But guys like I said if you have any questions let me know them down below in that comment section. If I can't answer them I'm sure somebody else can. Thanks for stopping by as always and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out until next time. Peace! Always in the wrong Knowing where we stand But you and I Get it right